What is up my gamer gang, it's Sparky from those one dudes, and today we are back with more Call of Cthulhu. Now, last time we played this, uh, we were in a cave, uh, in the cult of Cthulhu, the cult, there, his cult, whatever, um, we were in a cave, and a bunch of weird things happened, uh, apparently it was all a dream. Then some guy came in, uh, with some information about a girl and a family and this weird island and weird things were happening there and then he showed us a painting um it's really weird but we're back let's continue the series so what wind brought you all right does the hawkins case mean anything to you oh so i just want to point this out um my camera is not the best um here in the next few days I'm gonna get the Razer Kia webcam um, so that should be a lot better a lot better frame rate my uh, camera keeps like like fitzing um, so yeah all right back to the game sorry and a better uh, microphone a uh, sad Razer story siren that we would all prefer to forget <laughs> be Charles awesome Hawkins if I just got sponsored by Razer ooh that'd be so cool just out of nowhere, just hey. You and his know, wife. Like you sponsor Sarah her. Hawkins. Or we'd like to sponsor you. Uh, Show us nice our prop. And a give you money for it. Whatever. Tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick me up. Mitchell yes, may not be very right. welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. Alright. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here. I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Yeah, just don't mind me. I'm just gonna go searching. Alright, consult diary. Uh, Darkwater Docks, go to the bar. Talk to Bradley, talk to Fitzroy. On approaches to Darkwater, I saw thick clouds masking the sky. They were so low, they seemed intent on impaling themselves on the sharp reefs that circle the island. Fitzroy, the captain of the only tub that manages to float to the mainland offered to help me. He may have documents that belong to Charles Hawkins. That's right, advised me to pit, to visit the port's bar. He mentioned a little pick-me-up. I suppose I could get the lay of the land at the same time. Fishermen have gathered around the carcass of a killer whale. I could have a look and see what the local cops have got to tell me. Captain Fitzroy offered to share with me what he has found on the Hawkins in the archives of the Harbor Master's office. Okay, so... Uh, we're gonna go to the bar first. <laughs> Forgot I haven't, I haven't played this in a, in a minute. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Yep. Okay. So, do you have anything to say? No. Do you? No. What about you? No, apparently not. Why'd you have to go and do that? Now I gotta be mean. Most likely. Yep, see? Why'd you have to do hey, that? Be careful. Why'd you have to be a dick? <coughs> Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Uh, Pure instinct. I behaved like a Hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Fair enough. Um, no prohibition right I didn't here. expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. 
I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Uh, I know, but dark water. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I've got what I need. Anything else? Um, why the, the stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Okay, um, return. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. Wow. Mm. I think we'll get along well. <laughs> this will affect your death. What? What? Man. All right. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Okay. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Um, nope, that's it. That'll Thank be you. all for now. Thank you. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. I'm not going to read all that right now. If you guys want to pause and read it, I'll let it hang for two seconds. This. This. All right, there you guys go. Anything uh, else? Oh, hmm. hello. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Is that supposed to represent H.P. Lovecraft? Nope. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. 
It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Uh, where's the proof? Where the proof? Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Okay. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Okay, Good night, so... Stranger. I guess... So long. All these people were in... All these people were in hunger, starving of hunger, and I guess the... The great whale saved them? I, I, I don't... Who are you? What you looking at, stranger? Uh, I'm just passing by. Sorry. Let me drink, stranger. Okay. I told I'm you to beat it. I'm trying to talk to you, bitch. Fine. Be like that. No, oh, I can't go that way. Damn. Okay. Okay. Um, can I ask you more questions? What can I get you? I read the article on the miraculous catch. Interesting local folklore. Don't get it into your head to repeat that round here. It's more than folklore. Okay. On that day, the crew of the Scylla caught an exceptional catch. The biggest whale ever caught. And they saved dock water from famine. What can you tell me about her? We all know then. Her visit. What are you used to? I've got what I need. Anything? Yeah, that's it. All right. Um. That'll be all for now. Thanks. Thank you. What is this? Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker, and a debtor. Interesting. All right. Um. Where to now? Uh. What's the next one? Go to the bar. Talk to Bradley. Which one's Bradley? I don't know who. Bradley is. Um, let's actually go into the fisherman's cabinet or cabin. Crap. Okay. Oh, let's look around. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Anything else? No. Okay. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than seventy years. No. Oh. A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Learning of medicine. Okay. Character sheet. Ooh! Uh, okay. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's... Let's do... Let's do... Sp Ugh. Go with spot hidden. Okay. Yes. Okay. New characters. Yeah, yeah, yada yada yada. New places. Yada yada yada. Okay. Thing up here. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. Anything? Nope. Um, is that it? Oh, alright. Anything over here? Anything? Anything? Oop. Hello. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this are woman, clear. Cat. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier cat. Cat. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. All right. I've Cat. brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Oh, on the deck. Uh, oh, okay.
From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working <laughs> lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I already saw it. The Miraculous Catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Okay, it was Cat. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain Cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Okay, return off. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it <coughs> or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling. But no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. Okay. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Uh, it belonged to the Hawkins family? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I, I think that somebody kind of that obvious. wanted me to search this warehouse. Uh, I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Okay, cool. Consult diary. Uh, oh, another skill point. Cool. Um, what do we want for it? Or what do we want to use it for? Um, use it for... Psychology. Alright, uh, a bunch of work. whalers. Um, hey, Sullivan. The, the same goes for you, sir. Move along. They seem to be very agitated about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me. These fools think that putting the whale back in the water will bring about the end of the world. <laughs> They're superstitious. If only you knew. And there's. Absolutely they only listen to Captain I'm Fitzroy. And not always. A lot of stuff. And you. What brings you to our island? Oh, nothing. I'm looking for I'm this just, address. Uh, you know, Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Learn to accept some friendly advice. What, what, kind, of, now, what kind of reason please, is that? Allow like, me to do my job. You don't put that beast back in the water, you I'm shite. A PI. You're crazy. It's my job to snoop. 
They can't sneaky, understand. Sneaky, sneaky. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way oh. to trade an The blood is just hey. beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer whales have few predators. And there are no sharks in these waters. What creature could possibly have done this? Don't put that a skill point? Do I, do I get a skill point? Oh man. Water, you oh, well. All You're right. crazy. Cops, they can't well, it's over here. Hmm. Ooh, lock picking. There. It's in. Oh, there we go. Hello, old friend. Ooh, bottle of liquor. Can I go in that one? Can I go in this one? Nope. All right. Um. Here. Anything over here? Oh, whoa. hello. Saint Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. I wish I could run faster. Can't talk to you. Anything over here. Thing. It's over here. Come on, you could tell me. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Okay. Some of these guys. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? Yeah, they're drunk. We saw what you did to <coughs> St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. Just How arrived, can I you fools? be the one who defaced your saint? I've just come ashore, you idiots. That's true. We're as drunk as lords. You bet. You could have gone by without us seeing you. Do not rile me you can hardly stand up he's right we're no match for the moment we're annoyed it's understandable there's you our beloved statue and then those two bozos behind us wait now that i think about it it's got to be them there's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue quieter that's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Um... Uh, yeah. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. Uh, all right. I've taken enough of your time. Let's see you. Let's go you could over to these guys. No idea. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? 
We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Does it really matter? Cat, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> oh, it's the cop. Gotcha. She sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. Fair enough. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. <laughs> off. I don't give a damn Dude. about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Fine. I bid you gentlemen farewell. Ah, uh, get inside warehouse. Well, well, look who's back. Did you miss us? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, I have an words. offer that could interest you. We're listening. I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business. What's in it for us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. Liquor? For sure. Bring us something to drink yep. and we'll take care of the bootleggers. Look what I've got. <laughs> They're like, bet! You're a good guy, you. All right, Follow let's go. me. Over here. <clears throat> Cheers, you jackass. Oof, I don't feel well. Hey, where are you going? Say that again. Oh, here they come. I hope for your sake that I didn't hear. No, no, it's not what you think. It's just that you shouldn't hide your. Good job, guys. Good job. Anything over here? No. Anything? No. Okay. Oh, I thought I saw something. I guess not. Okay. Um. Let's go. Uh, can I close? No, nope, guess not. All right. Let's okay. see. Go right in. Oh, come on. Shoot. I'll have to find another way to get in. You gotta be it's kidding. No use. Is it because? Oh, come on. Man. The padlock won't give. Uh, well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our uh -oh. turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Um, Your no turf? Idea? That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. 
Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Oh, come on! Ooh! Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. What? Oh. Man! What? Okay. Don't worry. I'm getting careless. Hey, I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. No. Man, Please. what? My tongue got ahead of my senses. Uh. Something like that. Hey, tell him to All right. down. Well, I got to end that episode here. Um, Apparently, I wasn't able to get in the warehouse. Probably because my investigation skill wasn't high enough. Oh! God, that makes me angry. Anyways, um... So, next episode, we're probably going to get into that warehouse, find some way to get into it, but that's all for now. Sparky, signing off. Peace.